So hi guys, thank you very much for coming today. I'm very oh, excited. Person is on. Do very excited to uh, show you guys how to do an omelette today. So I'm going to try to try to teach you that in life, and you could do your omelette at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to go very slow, and you can ask me question at the same time, and uh, we see how we we do together. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you have gas, induction, electric, but we're all going to figure out how to do that together. It's all about the heat, you know, to make sure you're not cooking your omelette too fast. So I'm going to wait uh, one minute to make sure everybody is set. I have... <laughs> hey, you want to learn how to do an omelette? Mm -hmm. No, you don't cook really. You just eat you. Mm -hmm. What are you yeah. eating, Rev? Chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah. Are you still in your pajamas? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. 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 Favorite Coffee. brand of pan. Huh? Your favorite brand of pan. Pan le crochet. So this is a... Uh, I'm going to recap with you guys, you know, all the things we need to uh, do the omelette today. To make sure... Yeah, it's very important when you cook. You know, when you do a recipe to have everything ready at the beginning, like that, we didn't need to look everywhere or stress about looking for a pan, or looking for a spatula, looking for a bowl. So, okay, guys, I'm going to start to show you uh, exactly what we need today. So, make sure you have a bowl with you, okay? The most important ingredient is an egg. What's the most important ingredient? <laughs> an egg. It's kind of obvious. It's just, okay, they know, they know, they know. Yeah. We told them already. So but just make sure you have a bowl, make sure you have a whisk. What do you think about cast iron? I mean, cast iron is good too. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to do an omelette in the cast iron because it's going to be stuck a little bit in the pan. But look, if you feel comfortable to go with cast iron, maybe you're going to have a little bit of coloration, but it's fine too. My grandma was making that in cast iron. At that time, it was not a lot of non-stick pan, you know. Cold uh, eggs or room temperature? I don't feel like that. But you don't uh, think my like room, that? room, they're room temperature, yeah, room temperature. Yours are at room but temperature. But just a little bit cold. I, I just take up them twenty minutes ago. But it doesn't. I mean, room temp is better, of course. But if you come from the directly from the fridge, it's fine. Make sure I have a non-stick pan. Can okay. you say it in French also? Oh no. Oh we. Oh we. Let's go. To translate everything in French too? I just... So, une poêle, non-stick, ok? Oui. Voilà. A spatula. Oui. So, of course, reverse spatula. And make sure you have a plate also, ok? A plate, ok? To put our omelette at the end, ok? And after, it's very easy, hein, guys. Just four eggs, five or four. Mine are pretty big, so I'm going to put four eggs. Du beurre, butter, un unsalted butter. But if you want, you can do with salted butter. You just make sure to put less salt in the eggs. Cream cheese, because I don't have boursin. Cream cheese. Cream cheese is a good cheese too for the What omelette. is your favorite omelet cheese? Boursin cheese. Is your favorite. Yeah, this one. Actually, I have some, but the garlic one is too garlicky. But, uh, well, whatever. Boursin cheese. And uh, garlic cheese. And, uh, and salt. Okay, guys? So everybody is ready. So we're going to start the omelette demo. Okay? Bon, first. The omelette cook along. Okay, guys, everybody get your bowl in front of you. Okay, guys? Voilà. Have your bowl. Voilà. Now you're going to crack your eggs. Okay? What's your favorite brand of butter? So many, a lot of good butter I like. Tillamook? Tillamook? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the American one. Yes. You know, I mean, I love French butter, of course, because I'm French. But I love uh, Tillamook. How do you yeah. say? Tillamook? Yeah, Tillamook, yeah, Tillamook. <laughs> I use that a lot. You know, I buy that a lot. Yes. You know, and they do good ice cream too. Love their ice cream <laughs> too, yeah. Yeah, I eat a lot last night, actually. So, okay, on y va. Okay, we focus on the omelette, guys. Yeah. Okay, on y va. So, eggs, on y va. Alors, we crack our eggs, okay? Voilà. How do you see if the eggs is a good quality? Is the texture of the egg white. Okay, if you see the egg white is very, I would say, slimy. Slimy, we say? Slimy, yes. Yeah, slimy, it's like that. They're not too watery. It's a good eggs. When you see the egg white, it'd be too liquid. It's not a very good quality of eggs. Oh, somebody says Kerrygold is pretty close to French butter. I agree. I agree with you. And we also, I love also Pulgra. 
Pulgras, a good, Pulgra. Pulgras, a good European, European butter too. Hi, Josie. Good, Josie. Oh, Hello, alors, Josie. Don't do like me, guys. You see, the chef to mistake too. I have two little... Actually, uh, ta, 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 ta. we're going to take off the eggshell. Voilà. Okay. Four eggs. Bon, now, does, you it, have your... does it matter if you use organic versus non-organic eggs? That's also just What is it? Does it matter if you use organic or non-organic? I mean, I would recommend to use organic, of course. But you know, now these days it's very difficult to shop now. So if you don't have organic eggs, use regular eggs. But use uh, organic if you can, okay? And maybe you have some uh, chicken in your garden too. So use uh, directly from the chicken. Okay, un peu de sel, on y va. Sel? Yes, we'll save the live video. What's up? Somebody asked if we'll save the live video. What do you mean? What's up? No, they want us to save the video. We'll ah, save it. Yeah, of course, yeah. Voilà, bon maintenant, on y va. Alors, all eggs, okay? A little touch of salt, and now we're going to beat very well with a whisk. All hi, four. Sasha. The eggs. She's in, Sasha's saying hi from Panama. Oh, Panama, wow, that's cool. Never been to Panama. Pita. Never. Sasha Pita. Oh, Sasha Pita? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't know. I don't know. Sasha, he doesn't know where you live. Don't worry. No, I know what she did, but I didn't know about Sasha Pita. I didn't know about it. Congratulations on the wedding. I saw the beautiful picture of the wedding. Congrats. Voilà. So now you learn how to do no milk for the husband. So beat very well the eggs, okay? Voilà. So, allez. So, eggs. Okay. Hi from Marina Del Rey, San Francisco, Tarzana. Oh, Tarzana's Ah, Tarzana, I'm in Encino, guys. Tarzana, we're not far. Van Nuys. We're not far too. Do you like your tile countertops? Actually, my kitchen is the 70s. I love it. I love the light pink. I love it. <laughs> okay, the plan was to remodel, but what's happening to the remodel? Where you are? Where you are? Oh, sorry. We're going over here now. Over here. Take our eggs. Take so our now, eggs. Guys, okay, guys, take your uh, eggs, your butter, your spatula. So what you need now is just your butter, your eggs, your spatula, and your saucepan. Okay, so now we're going to go on medium heat, okay? Low heat, low heat, okay? Low heat. So let me see. So I don't do too much omelette on this electric <laughs> stove. Okay, guys? But you know what? It's a, it's a heat, whatever, you know? So, okay. So I'm going to put my butter in the pan. Okay, so put one, one tablespoon of butter in the pan. It's like one tablespoon. Okay, we're going to now to melt. Wait for the butter to melt. And we don't want any coloration from the butter. So make sure to melt very slowly the butter. I don't want any coloration. Okay, be very gentle. Okay, most people do. The mistake most people do, it's they go too, too fast. The heat is too strong, too, too, too hot and uh, the butter start to colorate and after when they put the eggs, the eggs cook right away. It's too, it's too, uh, help me Chrissy. It's too, it's too strong the heat. Too strong heat, thank you. Okay. So, so Jenny, Jenny in the Jets, he's saying on a low heat for now. Yeah, low heat now, okay guys? Do you goes too fast for you guys who I need to slow down? Tell me guys, okay? Yes, we have an electric stove, we know. <laughs> we'll say that. <laughs> People like electric stove? Yeah, it's, it's 1973 my house guys, so. I just move and uh, I did not redo the kitchen yet. So it's pretty, uh, well, but it's fun. I like it. You know, <laughs> it's challenging, but uh, it's cool. So, on y va. Okay, so let me know if I go too fast. But I can see the butter is melting very slowly. Okay, and it's perfect. I don't want the butter to burn. Yes, James Dinsmore, you can do this. Dave, allez, Chablis. I know, tomorrow, watch my friend Dave Dinsmore. Talking about Chablis tomorrow. Dave is trying to sabotage my uh, live video. <laughs> okay, guys. So, okay, you start a little bit seasoning here, a little bit. Voilà. So the heat. So I'm really on, on uh, low heat. Okay, guys, as you can see. Okay, low heat. Okay. The butter start to melt. Oh, it's a little more. Voilà. Voilà. So now we're going to add. The eggs, okay. So the eggs, I repeat, just salt, whole eggs, no milk, no water. Okay, I know some people put milk and water 
And ta 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 ta. I mean, I always learn how to just put the eggs, all eggs, okay? So, so be careful. You see, you start the seasoning here. See, so now we're gonna put the eggs. Can you use just clarified butter or regular yeah. butter? Better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use clarified butter. Okay. So we put the eggs here. And as you can see, is no sizzling. You don't hear any sizzling or whatever. The pan is still very, very low. Okay? And now we're going to cook the eggs. Like, oh, it's, 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 too, it's too strong. Oh, it's too strong. Oh, la. Oh, la, 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 la. So now we cook the eggs like scrambled eggs. Okay, guys? So now you stir, okay? Oh, my God, it was hot. I can do another one for people to see because this one will be so hot. So, okay, guys, just do scrambled eggs now. Stay on your flame and just do scrambled eggs and just cook the eggs slowly. Okay, and you move your spatula all around like that. Just if you do scrambled eggs. Now we're just doing the process to do scrambled eggs. That's it. Okay, so don't need to worry. It. Just mix your eggs, cook them slowly. I am showing the Pan. Oh. The pen, you show the pen, show the pen, show the pen, Chris. Okay, I'm going to go here. Somebody doesn't want to see your chest, they want to see your. Oh, but pen. it's not that much to see, so okay. I understand them. So, okay, so we see, guys. So now we're just cooking the eggs, okay? Should you alternate see? on and off the heat? No. Just stay on medium, Me, uh, on low, low or medium, okay, guys? We had a we had a heat problem over here, so he took it off. Yeah, we're cooking on addiction. So I was just want to make sure you take your time, you don't go too slow. So you see? Voilà, so you can see the omelette start to cook a little bit. You see some little uh, lumps here of eggs. That's good. But now we're just doing scrambled eggs, guys. Just do scrambled eggs. Mix your eggs, okay? Make sure it's liquid, okay? So now I'm going to see the, show you the next step. So now we're cooking, cooking, we stir, we stir, scrambled eggs. Okay. Take your time. How was the olive sauce on Top Chef? Where's the olive sauce? On the Top Chef last night. Ah, oui, oui, ah, oui, ah, oui, it was uh, very interesting. <laughs> ah, yeah, well, it was from uh, uh, the chef Epier. Yeah. He's a leaf sauce, I think, I remember, yeah. So you see, guys, the eggs, you see the eggs, they start to cook here, okay? No, no separation of eggs and egg whites. It's whole eggs. Yeah, all eggs, guys. So, voilà, okay, be patient, stern. You can move a little bit your pan. Why would I always have a problem with the egg sticking in the middle? Because you have to keep turning it. Yeah, turn right? it, guys. Turn it, turn it. Okay. Me too. I have a problem here. Okay. You can see sometimes if I don't stir it, I'm gonna have a problem. My eggs will be stuck in the middle. So I always make sure to see my hair stuck here. Attends. I'm trying to see here, guys. You see me too. So you need to make sure to stir it everywhere. Keep turning. Yeah, keep turning. See, stick here too. Voilà. So, yeah. so the eggs start to cook a little bit more. You can see because the eggs get thicker. Okay, I'm going to remove. Sometimes don't be scared to remove your 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 pan from the heat if you go too fast. So that they're still cooking, but they're too liquid. They're still too liquid. The eggs. Why wouldn't you put in milk? Huh? This is the. Why wouldn't you put milk in your eggs? Because my chef never teach me how to do like that. No, I, I, I seriously. I mean, I think it's. it's, 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 it's <laughs> <laughs> what was the recipe board? Just why wouldn't you put? Okay, let's focus on. See the eggs. So the scrambled eggs, guys. It's got to be more thicker the eggs now. You see, and go back a little bit here on the heat. And whoever asked, yes, this is the petit trois omelette. Yeah. Exactly how it's made at the yeah, restaurant. Exactly, guys. C'est la petite trois omelette. So you can Hi, see. Hi, so Rachel. It's... Pastry chef Rachel. Oh, Rachel. Oh, my poor girl. She's a <laughs> poor girl. Oh, the two, Rachel. Well, I should know how to do the omelette. Uh, he started with one tablespoon of butter. Yeah, one tablespoon of butter, guys. So, voila, you see, guys, voila. Oh, somebody's eggs are done already. You cooked too okay. fast. No, it's not too fast. I mean, oh, just take off from the burner. Just take off from the, the heat. Okay? It's not easy. We'll do another. Okay, guys, so I'm cooking my eggs. I'm a little slow and more slow. Huh? Voila. Voila, guys. So, see how the texture of the eggs? See? It's really like scrambled eggs. Voila. Thank you to our ER nurse who's turning in. Thank you for all your work. Yeah. Voila. Voila, Wooster. See? So, you see, it takes a long time. Huh? I've made a good omelette. You know, it's just really about stirring, stirring, stirring. Make sure you don't stuck in the pan. And just stir like that. So, we just do scrambled eggs. Nothing complicated now. It's all about to control the heat. Okay? It's not very... Uh... 
Let's have an induction. What's the, that's not induction. You mean uh, no sorry, no, no, yeah. <laughs> miss my. Uh, you miss your induction. Yeah, fish and pickles. <laughs> Do we have to add more butter? No. Nope. So you see guys, it's not that much butter. Everybody thinks I'm putting a lot of butter in omelette, but no, omelette is not a lot of butter. In France, where we put more butter in scrambled eggs. Next time I can show you how to do the perfect scrambled eggs. Can you use an alternative to a non-stick pan? <laughs> I mean, castaron. <laughs> if they use something else, will the, will the omelette stick? Yeah, it can be sticky a little bit. It's better non stick. And I recommend you have an omelette in a, a pan just for omelette. So you see the, the eggs now, guys? You see? Hello from the Venice Beach Fire Station. Oh, bonjour les, les pompiers. Vous avez les pompiers? Pompiers, yes. Oh, I would love to come to see you guys and teach you how to do an omelette. I would love to cook omelette for the. Oh, see, guys, it's taking too much. La sabotage. I'm talking. Et voilà. So you see that here, guys? It's little to cook. So yeah, I'm talking with uh, the. <laughs> oh merde, it's too cook. Here we go, I need to put them back together. Hey merde. Hey merde. Sabotage. So the omelette, okay, so I'm just going so my scrambled eggs like that. Put them back together. The shape of the omelette. So you see, guys. Oh putain, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to let rest a little bit the omelette. Okay, try to be a round one. Voilà. So. Somebody's created a crust thing. Why? A crust? A crust, yeah. But too, too, the heat was too, uh, too quick. Heat was too high? Too high. So now we put my cheese. How many restaurants do you have? Now zero. Zero right now. So now I'm putting my cheese here. Putting my cheese, you put your cheese here. Oh, Fred Savage, you need to learn how to make your proper cannelle. What about Fred Savage? <laughs> yeah, you want to piece the, the grapes? Voilà, put your cheese here. Okay. Voilà. Should we make a sabotage t-shirt and donate some proceeds? I think it's a good idea. Voilà, so the omelette. And now, so now guys, when your omelette is set like that, okay, let's set, cook a little bit. So you see the omelette, guys? So you see it's not perfect like that, okay? Just crumble eggs now. You let rest the crumble eggs a little bit. Ah, Ellen. <laughs> We're using cream cheese today. Cream cheese today. I don't have a, I don't have any bourgeois cheese, guys. You know. How much Bobby, cheese? Bobby Flay. Hi, Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay. Bonjour, Bobby Flay. Um, um, okay, we're good, guys. So now use as much cheese as you like. Voilà. So let's uh, cook a little bit the omelette. Voilà, Bobby Flay washing me now. I'm <laughs> using all my, my Bobby, name. he's nervous now. You're messing him up. The guys, I'm scared. <laughs> You've never beat Bobby Flay. No, I will never beat him. I don't think so. He knows too much about food. What do you do? You're rinsing your spatula? Yeah, let's talk for that. So you ready guys? Now go with your fold the omelette. Okay, so to fold the omelette. When I go on top like that, it's a little uh the 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 Okay, you see guys, so you just fold like that here from here from the top and you just, okay, you see? I hope you can see, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, see, they can see. see well? Okay, so now you just go like that slowly. You see guys? Where? Is he doing good? No, just make sure on the stone. So you see the angle of the pen? See how you roll guys? Slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. He is not still on the heat. No, I'm not doing it on the heat. Don't take off from the heat, guys. Sorry, my mistake. Is the heat on when you're letting it rest? Yes. On low. On low, yes. Like that, the eggs can cook and be firm like that. Okay, guys? Do people understand? People get it? Does everybody get it? Okay, we're going to the plate now. No, the dog is here. The dog is here. Hi, Jedi. Hi, Hi buddy. Move, move, so now I have your plate and just remove slowly your omelette from the pan. Voilà. Now what I do now, 
Now the trick. Now I take a little piece of butter and I just give a little, we do as a restaurant, like a little bit of Chinese omelette, comme ça. Voilà. What's up? What's up? Dave Dinsmore was nervous. You weren't going to make it. Oh, thank you, Dave, for your... <laughs> Thanks for your support. I put for the cell, and voilà, that's the omelette. I'm going to choose the inside. How is the inside? Hi, Virginie. This is the inside, guys. Let's see the inside. So that's the omelette. It's good? Mm-hmm. So the texture of uh, an omelette, guys, it should be like a texture of a custard. Okay. That's good. I will be higher in France. <laughs> you pass your exam in France? That's good. So what I guys as a French omelette. That's good. They want, me, they want me to do another one or no? No, they're good. Do you guys want another demo? Does he need to do it again? No, we're good, guys. One more? Yes or no? We will be safe. I'm sure we can say yes. <laughs> what, 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 ask? what do you ask? <laughs> what, they want another one? Very good. I don't know. No, they're good, no? Okay, guys. Did, no. did, did some people send me your picture, guys, please? Can you send me your picture? Yeah. I will give you a note. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes or no on the... Yes, everyone wants you to do one more. One more, Lefebvre. Yes. Encore. Encore. One more. Okay, guys. I'm going to never one. <coughs> hey, come to eat some omelette. You want some omelette? Cream come cheese. Eat. Cream cheese omelette, Rev. Cream cheese omelette, Rev. No chives. We don't have any chives here. Sorry. No, no chives, guys. Sorry. Come to eat the omelette. People want the side salad. So yeah, I'm going to make the salad next week. But yeah, I'm going to give you my real recipe of the vinaigrette. The shallot one, the shallot vinaigrette, the Dijon vinaigrette will be next time in live. I'm going to tell you what to buy and we'll do the vinaigrette together. Okay, let me watch the, my pen. What's up guys, what is it? Mm. Hashtag Ludo's omelet. How is it, Revy? Mine. That one's yours. Bye, Rev. Bye, Bye Rev. All right, Daddy's getting ready for another one. Oh, what about the white pepper? You said white pepper, Lefebvre. Huh? The what? Where Where were you gonna put in the white pepper? I don't. I don't ask people to add white pepper. Yes, she did. I did. I'm not sure. He forgot. He forgot the white pepper. Okay, we're gonna do another one. So we do another one. So we we'll put white pepper. Okay, on y va, guys. On y va again. Allez, we go. That's Wait, my... Is there anything for Jedi? <laughs> okay, Nothing. eggs. Eggs. Four all eggs, okay? Then my white pepper. He's gonna do one with white pepper this time. Mm, it's so good. It's so good, Revy? Mm -hmm. Okay, eggs. Four all eggs. That's what we put at the restaurant. Four all eggs. I know it's a lot, but you, you want to have enough eggs also to do a good omelette. Let's see if I use a nine inch pan. Nine inch pan, non stick, it's a perfect side. What brand? Le Crozet. <laughs> I mean, French omelette, you need a French pan, no? You do need a French pan if you do a French omelette. Okay, so voilà, so all eggs. Okay, guys, all eggs. Now, on met un petit peu de sel. Bon, you can put salt, uh, kosher salt, fleur de sel, whatever you want, make sure it's salty. And, and now we put my white pepper, okay? A little bit white pepper. I don't use black pepper, it's too, too strong. I want something more refined, more delicate for the omelette. Voilà. Oh, now, so somebody normally puts seven eggs. No, really? Seven eggs? Amazing. Wow. It's, it's, it's a souffle. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. So we beat the eggs now, okay? So eggs with a whisk. So some people I love to use a fork. Some people use a lot of... Uh, like Jack Pepper, I'm going to do with a fork. I do with a whisk. Doesn't matter. Okay. Voilà. We beat the eggs very well. Why we beat the eggs very well, Chef Chrissy? Why do you beat the egg one? white and egg white are mixed. Oh, so my English is so terrible. It's 23 years in this country. It's 
Somebody asked you to do this one a little quicker. Okay. Well, but you can't. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Yeah, I can, I can, I can go faster, yeah. But no, but it's just for people now, so I'm gonna go faster. No problem. Okay, Incorporate the air, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm following him, I'm following. No water, no milk. Yeah, no, no water, water no okay. milk. Okay, guys, we made the butter, no coloration, okay? Same thing, nothing changed. How do you make or feed five in the family at once? So one more time? If, you, if they're trying to feed a family of five omelets, how do you do it? But you do one, you feed one kid, you do another one. I mean, well, just, <laughs> it's just assembly line. That's it. Or do a bigger one, you know? At the restaurant, the cook now at the restaurant are faster than me. The cook at my restaurant are faster than me. They do better than me. They can do like two or three omelets in one time. It's pretty amazing. Amazing. But the, the, the important thing, I think, you need to have a, if you have a four kid, you have four pen. <laughs> You know, and when you do the scramble egg, you let, you, you let rest. That's where uh, you just let them set. Yes, you let them set, set and then you roll them all. Yeah, yes. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Can you put the cream cheese in the egg mix? Huh? Could you put the cream cheese in Never it? try that. Never try that. But I think it's better for the texture to don't mix the cheese with the eggs. I think it's more easy to cook the omelette like that, you know. Oh, Jonah. No skills lost. Oh, Jonah, uh, was it? <laughs> Jonah. The, the king of the reheat. I'm going to do a video, guys, how to reheat a pizza next week. How much and heat on the stove? How much heat? Low heat. Low heat. So you see here, guys? So now it's sitting a little bit. The so pan no is coloration. nine inches. Yes, yeah, see, voila, nine inches. And the heat is low, nine inches. So as you can see, heat. the eggs are not cooking now, okay? You don't hear any sizzling, nothing. It's just very low heat now. Very low heat. And now we cook. We're going to go a little bit faster because people want to go faster. So we're going to go faster. No problem. Whatever, whatever people want. It's all about you guys. Preferred you cheese besides cream cheese. Yeah, Boursin. me too, but that's, yeah, Boursin, you can use a shred cheddar cheese or you can use a goat cheese. I love goat cheese too. Feta cheese. So you see sometimes it's stuck in the bottom, okay? Here, you see? You have so 550 you have... people making omelets. Oh, that's amazing. I want you to send me my, your picture. You see, it's stuck a little bit, so make sure you... Who's filming? This is his wife, Chrissy. I know, I'm nice, thank you. Voilà, so you guys go faster now. Oh my god, guys. See how you cook fast now? How you cook fast? What brand of cream cheese? Uh, tra organic from Trader Joe's. So you see, guys, you tell me to go fast. So you, go so you see, you go too fast, you take up from the heat, and you just go on the side, and you just mix. It is a silicone spatula. Yes. Oh, merde. Oh, merde. Somebody told you to go fast, and you're... Voilà. Yeah. So after you can garnish your omelette whatever you want, and you can do a Denver omelette with grilled onions, bell pepper, sausage. You can put whatever you want in your omelette. Huh? Voilà. And go back here. A poisson and truffles. Who who's idea that? That's uh, a good idea. Good job. Doctor something or. Good job, doctor. A good doctor with a good test. A poisson and truffle, yeah. Sounds good. Okay, you see, voila. If I do three eggs, can I omit the cheese? If what? Do they have to put cheese in? No, you nope. can just put eggs. Yeah, what do you do at the restaurant for the kids? Huh? You make the same rest, the same omelet at the restaurant, right? Yeah, no cheese, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The pan is nine inches. Nine inch, guys. Nine inch pan. It's a perfect side. What's your daughter's favorite food to make? Oh, uh, Rev, she loves uh, mac and cheese. But she doesn't make food. So you see, guys? Ah, to make food, no, she don't cook, she just eat. So voila, see the omelette? See how we let set now, like that? See now? So we let rest with a bit of omelette. So we let set now the, the eggs. How many restaurants are you guys cooking at a time in the omelet? I mean, how many omelets? Duh. How many omelets are you cooking at a time in the restaurant? Sometimes. Yep. Sometimes it can be like, when we have a big party, it can be 10 omelets. You have two guys and they just do omelette. So now it's time to put the cheese, okay? How do you know the eggs are cooking too fast? Huh? How do you know if the eggs are cooking too fast? I can smell them. He smells them. You can smell the burn, yeah? Let's see. What do you think of adding uni to cheese? Or instead of cheese? Uni to the omelette? Yeah. So don't go wrong with that, huh? <laughs> so put the omelette here. How do you know when the eggs are beaten enough? 
when you see the just one color yellow if not beaten up you see uh, egg white and uh, egg yolk not mixed very well so voila put the cheese here jenny the pan is nine inches the one is very easy is on le creuset website yeah le creuset nine inch pan yeah. non-stick so we're gonna let's set here a little bit so the most important thing now is to let cook a little bit the eggs Okay, you see, but it's still a little soft here. I cannot roll my omelette yet. See? Almost. Oh. It's like almost like you're making a tortilla. Amber bought her food scale that you told her to buy. Food? Amber, that you told her to buy a food scale. Yes, she did? Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you, Amber. I hope she's going to like it. So, voilà. So, you see this one omelette, là? Let's set a little bit. Now you can add all your garnish you want here. Okay? Voilà, you ready guys? Now I'm going to roll it. So roll it is, you see my body? I don't, no, they don't see like that. What do you it, mean? No, they, they don't they, see they that. They do see it. No, but go over there like that. I want to go over there like that. Look, look guys. Yeah, come ça. Come ça. Come ça. Okay, come ça. So you make sure and roll and come ça. You see the angle of the pen? See that? Oh. They want you to see the angle of the pan. There you go. The angle of the pan. It's on an angle. Yeah. It's bigger, this one. This one's bigger? Some. Something happens when it gets nine inches on heat. <laughs> I love my yeah. jokes that he doesn't understand. Voilà. Voilà. What we do now? Do the wrist, the wrist tw trick? The what? The wrist trick. So you see trick. how it's fluffy? So an omelette, you know, guys, need to be very fluffy. And uh, it should be the texture of a custard, you know, like a crème brûlée. Okay? So now we're going to work a little bit in the plan. Voilà. On y va? On y va. And now again. We'll go under the pan, so you have your plate here. Voila, and up. Luca! Now you can reform with your hand if you want it to be the Come omelet. here! The omelet. Voila. Luca's coming to eat this one. It was live. We're doing a second one, Monica. Who's Monica? Because somebody said they already watched this. I know, Monica, we did two times. We did two. We did two. A little bit of beurre for make nice, nice. And a little bit for the same. Luca! And voilà. Another one like this. Voilà, guys. So next week. Can you eat the omelette, please? Sure. No, but sure. Obviously. Can you say hi to Pierre from Bordeaux? Hey Pierre from Bordeaux, ça va Pierre? Bah, you not in bed, Pierre? Pierre, t'es pas couché? Qu'est-ce que tu fais à cette heure-là? Oh, you you here in America? Je ne sais pas. How was it, Luca? Hmm, it's good. Sure. Yeah, Luca like it. So we're good, guys. The kid loves the omelette. Luca is the king of the omelette. <laughs> What we cook with, what we're going to cook together next week, together, okay, to show okay. people to cook something together with the kid. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, thank you. I hope you learned a lot today how to do an omelet. And if you have any question, please uh, Instagram me or send me your picture of your omelet. I would love to see you guys. Salut from Lyon. Lyon, yeah, Lyon, yeah. <laughs> nobody's sleeping in France. Yeah, nobody's sleeping in France. <laughs> <laughs> but good. thank you everybody for your support. Thank you very much. Oh, 3.30 in the morning in Portugal. Wow. No, sorry, 12.30. Yeah. One th I don't yeah, know, yeah, zero, right. zero, three, three. So next week, I'm going to show you guys how to do some uh, dressing, salad dressing. And one of the famous dressing we do at the restaurant is the one with the shallot, mustard. And I'll show you what the dressing we use for the omelette next week with Boston lettuce. Oh, dog's coming in behind. Salut, doggy. Bye. Okay, guys, thank you very much, guys. Have a great weekend and stay safe. Bye, guys. Thank you.